This is the Thank You Ocean Report. Traveling along the coast of California can present challenges for mariners and whales. Over the last several years, many whales have been struck by ships. There's four species that we see often in the ship strike database. Blue whales, humpback whales, fin whales, and gray whales. Of those populations, the grays and humpbacks are doing much better than the fins and the blues. Fins and blues are both at a higher risk. Michael Carver is the deputy superintendent for Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary. Every year, the National Marine Fisheries Service does stock assessments and they publish detailed reports of the status of the various species. And for blues and fins, they have routinely been coming back as not recovering. So what do you do to address this issue? Well, one approach has been to bring together multiple agencies, such as NOAA, the U.S. Coast Guard, and the International Maritime Organization, to adjust shipping lanes, to improve navigational safety, and to reduce ship strikes. But these vessels are also traveling through NOAA National Marine Sanctuaries, including Cordell Bank, Gulf of the Farallons, Monterey Bay, and Channel Islands, where blue and fin whales feed and congregate. So in addition to changing the shipping lanes, scientists need more information. So there's several ways we gather data on the distribution and abundance of marine mammals. We conduct aerial surveys with the U.S. Coast Guard. We conduct triannual surveys with Point Blue Conservation Science. We also are now leveraging the greater maritime community using an app. And this allows anyone who's out in the sanctuary to use a GPS that's in their phone to give us an accurate position, an ID of a whale, and then that information is uploaded to a common database. We then can verify this information and get a sense in near real time of where the whales are and where they're feeding. And this new mobile app is not really for the general public, but rather the maritime community, and it's called Spotter Pro. The real focus is trying to find where the whales are when they're using these lanes to try and mitigate this multiple use situation where we've got commercial traffic, fishermen out and about, sailing vessels, we've got your recreational folks out there. So if we understand where these populations are, both the maritime community and the marine mammals, then we can provide tools to safeguard these populations of marine mammals. And here's how Spotter Pro works. The information needs to come into NOAA we need to work with the vessel traffic surface, give them accurate information on where the whales are, and then they relay that information to the commercial traffic. How they do that is via broadcasts over the National Weather Service, broadcast directly from the vessel traffic service, and then also recently we've initiated AIS transmissions. What they are is automatic identification systems. They're like text messages that show up on the bridge of commercial ships. So an alert pops up that says, there's whales in the area, please slow down. My thanks to Michael Carver. And here's your Thank You Ocean everyday action. Go out on a whale watching tour to view and learn about these magnificent creatures and to enjoy your National Marine Sanctuary. Please report injured, entangled, and ship struck whale concerns to the 24 hour hotline 877 SOS Whale. And to learn more about whale identifications, check out this poster. And remember, the ocean takes care of us. Let's return the favor. To learn more, you can always visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thankyouocean. I'm Jerry Kay.